guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna be replacing the light and fan switches in one of my upstairs bathrooms with a dual technology motion sensor and humidity sensor light and fan control. I chose this particular sensor from Top Greener since it incorporates the light and the fan combination into a single unit. And since my current switches in the bathroom are both in a single unit because they were kind of short on space in this area and they turned them sideways, I needed something that was gonna give me humidity sensor for the fan and the ability to turn on the light. Now most of the time what you'll find is you can find light motion sensors or fan humidity sensors and they're typically standalone units and so you'll need two uh, units for the housing overall to get both controls in there which means you need a double box. I don't have a double game box in here, I only have a single box so I need something that will incorporate everything into the single package and this top greener device does the job for me. All right, so the wiring for it looks kind of complicated because you have six wires in total that you're going to be dealing with, but it is very straightforward. Um, they're all color coded and the instructions tell you how to match everything up. And then you are, you have labeling on the back here saying exactly which wires for what. The biggest thing will be um, working with the old outlets and identifying everything. So I know my bottom one is my light, my top is my fan. I just have to figure out where power is coming in from. That's the biggest thing that the instructions tell you to identify. Okay, if the switch is removed, I can identify all of my wires easily. So I have my power coming in, which goes to here, which connects to both switches. And then I have power going to the light because the bottom one is my light. And then power going up to the fan because the top one's my fan. All of my neutrals have been tied together and capped. And then my ground is also all tied together and uh, clamped off in the back. So I'll just have to reach back in there to attach my ground from here. But otherwise, this is all easy to identify. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start removing the wiring here now that I know everything. Okay, I've already attached my ground because it's a little farther back and it's hard to see. So now I'm going to do my neutral since it's right up front, easy for you guys to watch. And I actually cut a little bit more of the insulation off so I have more to work with since I am dealing with three wires already tied together. Now they actually provide you wire nuts when you buy this and you get six of them total that come in the box so that's really nice and helpful. Okay, from here I'm going to do my two power cords are going to go to the hot wire so you've got one for the light and one for the fan and in this case i'm going to use the black and the blue for the black it is called line one and that is that matches up with the fan and for the light it's called line two for the blue and that leaves you the brown wire which is designated fan brown and then the red wire which is red light so I'm just going to use the black and the blue and tie in for the power to the hot. And since I don't need this older pigtail, I'm going to remove that one. If it wants to come off. Oh, never mind. Not a pigtail. I simply use a long piece of wire and then they cut the insulation in the middle and use that to cap it and continue on. I really hate when they do stuff like that. So I'm gonna cut that off because that's not necessary. All right, cut off that portion of wire I didn't need. I braided those two wires together and now I've got my two wires that are gonna to go to my light and my fan to bring in the power. And I'm gonna tie those in to the hot wires coming in and then I will cap them off. Okay, only two wires remain, and that is for my fan and for my light. Now, my red wire in my actual box is a fan, all right? This goes to the fan. So the red wire at my new switch is for my light. So this is where it's not gonna necessarily be matching colors up for what's on the back of the, uh, the new switch and what's in your box. So my brown wire on the back of my new switch is gonna to go to my red wire because that goes to the fan. And then my red wire is gonna to go to the remaining black wire.
And I don't need quite that much cable. All right, last of all, my red to my black for my light. Okay, and they're all capped. Now I just gotta put everything back into the wall, screw it in, turn on the power, and see if this works. Now that my sensor is fully installed and I've checked to make sure that the light and fan are operating correctly, I'm gonna go ahead and program the sensor. So there's two different functions. Function one is for your timer delay to control the light and the fan, and that's between a 10 to 30 minute time delay. Or you select function two, which is for the humidity sensor on the fan, and that has low, medium, and high humidity sensors. I'm in a high humidity environment, so I want my fan set to a high humidity so that when it picks up that higher level of humidity, it turns on. I don't want it kicking on all the time. If I put it on a low humidity, then it's gonna be kicking on constantly. So to enter programming mode, I'm gonna hold down the light button for eight seconds and it will turn solid green. There we go, programming mode. Now to select the function, you're gonna press the light button again for however many times to determine the function. So if I press it once, I go to function one. If I press it twice, it'll be function two. Once I press it and select my function, it's gonna flash back at me either one to three times and that tells me what setting it's currently on. All right, I waited too long so it exited the programming mode so we'll go back to programming again. Okay, we're in programming. I want function two for the humidity sensor. So one, two. and it's telling me that it's on setting three because it flashed back at me three times. It'll continue doing this at two, se two second intervals, 10 times, but I wanna save that function, so I'm gonna press the button again, hold for eight, it'll flash back at me three times slowly, and that's it. Now my fan is programmed for a humidity sensor at the highest humidity level. The sensor also has two different modes of operation, occupancy or vacancy. And so in occupancy mode, the light will come on when it detects motion. So if I were to walk into the bathroom, light will come on. I prefer to have it in vacancy mode, which is what it's currently in. And you can see that the light is, the little light button is flashing green, means it's detecting motion, but the light isn't coming on. And that's because I have it set to vacancy mode. And I want in vacancy mode so that it just doesn't come on randomly like in the middle of the night, especially if it's somehow detected by cats walking in here. But if you want to change it, all you have to do is hold down both buttons at once for about 10 to 15 seconds. There we go. And now it's in occupancy mode and the light came on. And so I'm going to change it back to vacancy mode you see, even though I'm pressing the light button, the light has not turned off, but it should turn off once it switches back to vacancy. Okay. So this was really easy to install overall, but if for some reason you did finish the installation process and something wasn't working correctly, then I would definitely go back and relook at your wiring. You might've wired something in the wrong place and just hooked it up to like the wrong thing. Um, Otherwise, it was incredibly easy to do. It is a little bit pricey. I had to order this online and it was about $50, but your standard motion and light sensors separate are still around $20 a piece. So having them both in a single unit, it makes sense that it is gonna run about twice the cost of those are those individual ones separately. I bought mine off Amazon, but you might be able to find yours at your local hardware store possibly. I am really happy with this and I can't wait to try it out tonight, especially the humidity sensor. I wanna see what happens when the shower is on and the fan hasn't been turned on and if the humidity that builds up from the hot water will cause it to kick on like it's supposed to. So if you like this video, then go ahead and click the bell, give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time on the DIY Grunt.